Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to cover the interview questions asked at Flipkart company for SDE position. So SDE is nothing but software developer engineer position. Yes, today uh, we are not going to see the questions for testing or as that, but these are specifically for SDE. And over here in this video, if you want to know the hiring process at Flipkart, what are the behavioral questions asked, you know, so these questions will be common for again testing and for uh, SD, but the technical aspect of the questions that would be different. So then this is the right video to be watched and uh, I have not covered direct questions, but yes, uh, you'll be able to know what are the kind of rounds or what are the kind of questions asked and what is the duration and what are the expectations basically from the interview panel at Flipkart. So if you are a software tester or, you know, tester, so for you, first of all, let me directly go to the last round, which is the hiring manager round. And it would be conducted by the hiring manager of the team in which you would be, you are going to get selected. And you'll be asked about a lot of questions or cross questions on the existing projects in the existing companies in which you are working. And uh, They'll check in-depth knowledge, whether you are having so why you are taking this, why not this, why are you going for this strategy, why not this test strategy. So those kind of hiring manager round questions you'll get. Then behavioral questions again would be same for the software tester, for the SDET or for SDE as well. Okay, like what was the biggest challenge in your past job? Okay, how did you overcome it? And uh, and what was the strategy used by you? Why did you went for this particular XYZ strategy only? So then they'll also help you to understand the uh, Flipkart company from the business point of view. And then they'll ask you the questions on the same to know that whether you are able to adjust into that, uh, you know, business kind of view. And uh, then they'll, they'll also give you about the insights about how the team is working on what all things the team is working and what all technologies are being used by the team. Okay, so this is the hiring manager round or I would say the behavioral questions for the software testers or testing or SD as that's that would remain almost the same. And this is for Flipkart. Now, if you are going over there and it the duration is generally for 30 to 50 minutes, it depends on how far the communication goes on. If the manager finds it very fruitful, he or she will definitely take it up to 30 to 15 minutes. But if the interview is getting over by five to 10 minutes, then it means somewhere you can expect there is, uh, you know, the, there is not a positive impact in the interview of the, of your interview. Okay. Now let's, let's look at the SD interview questions for Flipkart company. Okay. So the very first round, it would be of for uh, 90 minutes approximately, and it would be absolutely machine coding round, okay, where the software developers will be, or the candidates will be given a problem statement, and there will be some time limit in which you have to submit that solution, okay. So problem statement consists of four main questions and one bonus question would be there. So it is expected that you finish first four questions, that is very, if, if you are able to finish first four questions, then it is absolutely fine. But if you are able to cover the one, the, the answer of one bonus question also, then it is like icing on the cake. Okay. So there, so you'll be given uh, machines or if you have laptops, you will be asked to code on your laptops. Okay. And the questions would be on designing the system using OOPS concepts and making the code as modular and scalable as possible. So that is first round, okay. So in the first round itself, they'll ask you about, uh, uh, you have to write the code, keeping into the mind about the memory management process, you know, so that uh, the memory leakage kind of exceptions don't come up, right? So you, you have to take all those decisions of uh, allocating memory to processes properly creating a child process and then kill the process and what all the things that you can do from the memory management perspective. And then one, one good thing is that you will be asked 
you'll be allowed to use the programming language of your choice to implement the system okay and at the end of this round you will be asked to submit the code and people who are getting selected would be taken to the next round and every round is an elimination round so let's say if you don't perform well in the round one so you cannot go to the round two if you perform well in the round one and you get uh, you know you get an opportunity to attend round two but then if you don't perform properly in round two then no round three or no round four for you then second round is 20 to 25 minutes in which the interviewers will see your code <clears throat> sorry and they would they will ask you to explain in detail why you have taken this design of memory allocator and all the sub questions of on the implementation of the code will be asked so you have to explain them about the uh, class the architecture and the abstract flow of the code why you have used this and then you also have to make sure that the you the test cases or unit test cases also uh, can be covered properly the maximum coverage you can give from this <coughs> code implementation that you have done and as it is expected many cross questions would be asked as and when it is required okay so again uh, the main focus would be on the main functionality of the code along with the testing modularity and scalability let's say tomorrow uh, within this feature within this code if they have to implement if they have to add some feature if they have to do some enhancement then is this code usable at that time or you have to start writing the code from scratch okay so how much code change will it require and what are the classes and methods which will be impacted okay so these are the kind of uh, things that you have to keep in mind when you are writing the code for flipkart interview then third round would be problem solving or data structures so this is again 90 to 100 minutes so one and a half hour you can expect for this round as well and uh, they'll, they'll give you the pen paper and they'll ask you few of the <clears throat> coding questions that uh, would be asked in the round so very first is find the sum of contiguous sub array within an array of numbers which has the largest sum so over here you can use kadani's algorithm and production level code would be expected because let's say in production if they are expecting that concurrent users will be using it or let's say 1000 users or 10000 users at a time would be using this feature then how will this code impact what what's what extra solution what is the what is your code doing you know going extra mile and helping or solving the problems of the customer <clears throat> so those kind of things you can expect then given a value n if we want to make change for n rupee and we have an infinite supply for each of xyz value coins you would be asked to find out how many ways can we make that change then coin exchange problem which is very popular which can be solved using dynamic programming then one more kind of programming question you can expect given two networks like n1 and n2 and you need to transfer a binary tree from n1 to n2 now whenever these questions are asked in an interview you are writing your code into a piece of paper but feel free to ask the interviewer if there are any doubts or if you are any if you are facing any queries into your mind because ultimately what would happen if those queries are there and you are writing the code then you might not be giving them the effective solution that they might be expecting from you okay so it is always better to ask and to get the clarity of the problem statement so interviews will be more happy than to help so this is a feedback that has that has come when someone would have asked the question to them and as discussed earlier at the beginning of the video the last round is hiring manager round which has a duration of 30 to 50 minutes round would be interviewed by the hiring manager they'll ask you about all the standards best practices that you know right if you are if you are uh, attending the interview from the testers point of view or from the automation testing point of view then you you'll be asked about the questions on the frameworks and how much scalable or how much modular framework you have implemented why you are going for this framework why not that framework why you are using this xyz method or class in this framework so those kind of cross questions will be asked to check in-depth knowledge about the projects and technology that you are working on and these are the short short behavioral questions that you will get 
not only in Flipkart, but in Amazon, Accenture, they all have got this hiring manager round. So once the candidate clears all the technical rounds, you know, all the assessments and all the programming questions, all the automation questions from the testing point of view and all those technical rounds are covered, then you'll get this hiring manager round in which you can expect all these behavioral kind of questions. So these are basically the Flipkart interview questions for SDE role. And thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates on our channel. And we'll be covering mock interviews and testing interview questions, automation testing interview questions in various top level companies like Amazon is there, Capgemini is there, Accenture. So please uh, like, share and subscribe our channel. And thank you once again for watching this video.